What's up core crew welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to get some bleached and distressed teas first off we're going to start with our not ingredients our materials <laughs> so this goes really fast but all you need is rubber bands bleach a bowl and your t-shirt so usually i like to get my t-shirts from thrift stores but since they're closed right now, I picked them up from Misguided. These t-shirts were cute, but I just felt like they were missing something. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to bleach them and distress them so they look like real tees. And then when you bleach and distress t-shirts, you're able to make custom um, clothing pieces, which is what I like. Like, no one will ever have this t-shirt because I bleached it myself. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, now it's... I'm going to show you guys how I kind of created this bleaching pattern and this is called the spiral All right, now on to the second T. This one I started out and I should have completed the spiral method, but then I was like, no, let me try to do another one. Um, so I tried to do the crumbled method, y'all. It did. It came out cute. It didn't over bleach like the Leah shirt, so that was good. But basically, you just crumble the shirt and then put rubber bands around it so that it's tight. Um, and then we're gonna put them in the bowl and start applying the bleach. Now we have both bowl, no, both shirts in the bowl, and we're going to apply the bleach. Um, the Aaliyah shirt was at the bottom, so I believe that it got over bleached because it had all the excess bleach on it. Um, and the Purple Rain t shirt did not bleach as much. So I would suggest that you all um, either do the shirts not in a bowl at all or just um, bleach them one at a time. But anyway, now that it is fully bleached, I believe I left it on for like two minutes, y'all. It was not a long time at all. And then I will take you guys into the bathroom so that I kind of wash it out and take off the rubber bands. So, you guys, now that I'm re-watching these clips back, I'm really trying to think where I went wrong with the Aaliyah shirt. So, I think I did um, over bleach it one but i also think that maybe if i left the rubber bands on when i put them in the washer it might not have um distressed in the washer like it did i don't know but i do think that when you're bleaching the shirts bleach them one at a time and don't put them both in the bowl so that one does not get over bleached but i did like the bleaching on it like it looks so good while it's wet um but then it went to the washer and literally got toe up i don't know how 
I think it says something about misguided um, t-shirts though. So after I rinsed out the shirts, I just put them in the washer and dryer to get all the excess bleach out. And this is how the shirts turned out, you guys. I did want to notice that if you're doing it in a bowl like I showed you guys, I would suggest doing them one at a time because the Aaliyah shirt kind of over bleach. It is really cute though, but it did get more bleach on it and it like ripped in the um in the washer which i don't really know why because they're from the same like company so the only like explanation i believe is that i over bleached it um because it completely like ripped in some areas but they're still super cute. I do like the bleaching job on the Aaliyah shirt better than this Purple Rain one. Um, but they're both super cute and you'll be seeing them in some videos. But yeah, if you like more, I'll show my face. <laughs> okay, you guys, so that's it for this DIY video. If you would like more DIY videos let me know down in the comments I have another one planned but I want to know if you guys like these types of videos so if you do give it a big thumbs up so that I know you know that lets me know and that lets YouTube know that you guys like this type of content so I can do more of it um and yeah honey see you guys in my next one bye